So I recently had a question about breast cancer. What is my opinion? Uh, there's a couple factors I want to talk about. Number one, um, certain types of cancer to the breast are stimulated by excessive amounts of estrogen, okay? Now, two of the best natural remedies that I recommend to help balance estrogen would be sea kelp, make sure it's from a high quality source, and of course, cruciferous vegetables. Both of these are, are natural, they have no side effects, and they have the potential to decrease risk for breast cancer. Of course, you wanna avoid soy products, GMO, and go organic as much as possible. And the next factor is insulin. Too much insulin can increase the risk of breast cancer as well. So of course, that's why we do keto. That's why we do intermittent fasting. Both of those reduce insulin. And the majority of the population is insulin dominant. And excessive insulin can actually make the cells grow and divide and multiply. And of course, what triggers insulin is sugar and refined carbohydrates. So of course, Cancer uh, has a lot more receptors for insulin than regular cells. So cancer lives on sugar, and we have more sugar, you have more insulin, so it's a double-edged sword. All right, let's talk about mammograms, okay? Number one, mammograms can be traumatic because you're putting the breast in a plate and you're creating compression. There's a term called inflammatory oncotaxis, which is a term that describes a condition whereby cancer travels into areas of inflammation and trauma. Yeah. So we don't want to traumatize uh, the breast. And number two, they use ionizing radiation, okay? These little wave particles that go through and disrupt the electrons in certain molecules in your cells, which actually has been known to cause cancer. So it doesn't make sense. So why in the world would you ever want to do early detection of cancer by giving someone something that has a known cancer-causing effect? So if you're actually checking the breast routinely every six months or every year or whatever, and you're exposing that breast to radiation, um, is it possible that it can actually trigger cancer? Well, I'm going to put a lot of links down below so you can do your own research on that. And there's been studies that show that it's safe, it's low-dose radiation, but a lot of those studies are not independent, okay? So again, I'm going to put some links so you can see the other viewpoint and make up your own mind on that. I recommend doing thermography because it's non-invasive and you can pick up a lot of great information from that test. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. So I hope you're coming to the Keto Health Summit coming up in October. So I wanna quickly comment on what we're gonna do that's different from other conventions, okay? The problem with these other conventions is they give you information overload, okay? It's so much data that you're basically swimming in a sea of information. Uh, we're gonna do things very differently. We're only gonna cover the most important things that make a huge difference. Now, there are three very powerful strategies that we're gonna be talking about at the summit that you will not find in any of my YouTube videos. Number one is on memory. I'm gonna be showing you something very cool to dramatically increase your memory in concentration that's gonna blow you away. And number two, I'm gonna show you how to increase your stress tolerance so you are completely calm all the time, all right? And number three, and most importantly, if you have a slow metabolism, if you've dieted for a long time and everything is kind of just really slow, I'm gonna show you how to get complete control over your metabolism so you can literally turn up the dial as high as you want and control as much weight as you want to lose. And these three things are just a tiny bit of what you're gonna learn in the summit. So click the link below, get signed up, and I will see you in October.